Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm Erica Hughes, and if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscription button below this video and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Okay, before we jump into today's Dutch pour uh, with some boom gel, I wanted to mix up some boom gel with you guys. First, I wanted to show you the dried piece of my from my last video. Dry nice, perfect. Okay, and you could check out this Dutch pour in my previous video. The one just before this one. Let me get that out of the way. Okay, so I want to show you guys, for anybody who's interested in incorporating their boom gel stains, which are these here, and you can get these at the Fluid Art Company. I will link um, the website below in the description box. That's where I got mine from. Now, the thing about this is when you incorporate the boom gel, you get some crazy funky cells which I love. This is gonna be a matter of taste. I'm sure not everybody's gonna like those cells, but this was a little mini Dutch pour, just a test piece. I did post this on Instagram and everybody was asking um, how I did it or whatnot. So I thought I'd show you guys how I mixed up for this piece. Now, before I did this piece, I did a little mini test piece on this. And this gold here, which is the metallic gold by Boom, had these crazy cool cells when I blew out this blue, this Dutch pour. But the next day, they all, all the cells, like all this gold was multicolored cells, but they just melted away. Now, this is a really cute little mini Dutch pour. I love it. But when I did it, I had all these really cool cells and just the next day they just melted away. So I was a little disappointed. So I wanted to make it work with some funky cells with the boom gel. So I did this one, or I adjusted my boom, and I did this one and it just dried just like, just after I blew it out with the hairdryer, it just stayed. Everything stayed put, the cells came. When I came back the next morning, it was still there. So I will show you guys for those interested how I mixed in my boom gel because there's something about the boom gel stains that really sell up and pop like these are really good for the bloom technique the cells just keep growing and growing they're just it's a great product so I wanted to try and incorporate it in my Dutch pour so what I did was to get those cells to hold up I let's go with which I mix I will do the gold, that's right. So I'm gonna take the metallic gold boom gel stain. Okay, and then just add some to my cup. However much you want to use. And you could adjust this little mix um, and experiment with it just to see um, if you, you know, if you maybe use less of the flow trawl and the paint that I'm going to put in it, you might get smaller, really cool looking cells or maybe um, adjust the mix so you get bigger ones. But anyway, they stay like, like I just showed you. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm just going to take some random gold. I have iridescent gold by Pebio. Only a little bit in here. Hopefully I can squeeze enough out. And this is another like mixing two different products together. But I really wanted to be able to incorporate my boom gels into the Dutch pour. And I tried and failed the first time. So I did this and it worked. So I'm just gonna take some um, acrylic paint, some gold. So that's how much boom I have. I'm gonna, just gonna do a little dollop. Nothing major. And then give this a mix. And so, oh, and you can do this with like, um, I also did, let me go grab it. Oh, one sec. 
So I did like a little test piece for a little, just a straight pour with the leftover Dutch pour paints that I had. And then this boom gel mix that I'm doing now, I just did a little straight pour and I got some cool cells and everything stayed as just after I poured it. So you could use this mix to incorporate your boom gels into ring pours or straight pours or whatever. So just experiment with it and just mix to the consistency that you're going for. So I have the boom gel and that little dollop of gold paint mixed up together and you still have that boom gel color. So that's what I want. So this is the American um, Flood Flow Troll and I did uh, filter it because it was all boogery. So I'm just going to add some, it's probably like a one-to-one, -one. like I don't me or really measure anymore, so. But again, just experiment. And if you are going to experiment, just do it on a small scale. So if something doesn't work out, you're not wasting a ton of paint and you're not, you know, wasting your canvas or you just re-pour over it or scrape it off. Okay, so that flow trawl is added in there and that really just gets it to a nice fluid consistency, nice and thick. But we are using this for the Dutch pour and we all know that your Dutch pour paints have to be a lot thinner than other techniques. So I have my water. I'm just gonna thin this down slowly with my water until I'm happy with the consistency that I like for my Dutch pours. Now, you really, I think you just kind of have to adjust, find the consistency that works for you. Like I said in a previous video, I like to go as thick as I can, but it can't be too thick. It has to be still thin. But I feel like if I can find that like thin thick, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense. Um, but everything kind of stays put a little bit better and I don't have to worry about uh, things shifting as much and losing cells and stuff like that. So I like to go as thick as possible for a Dutch pour. That's just me though. And then you kind of got to adjust maybe to your hairdryer. Like I wasn't really into my little travel baby bliss hair dryer it's a 1200 watt i wasn't really into it for into it at first and then i was like i can't just like try it once and then like go out and get a new hair dryer so i just kind of kept practicing with it and adjusting my paints to um suit the hair dryer that i had and now i love that little thing so Okay, so I'm just going to add a teeny tiny bit more water and then I think I'm happy with that. But so what this is going to do is you're going to be able to use your boom gels into your Dutch pour and you're going to get some crazy funky cells that are going to stay put. Um, as long as everything else is fine uh, as far as your consistencies and all that. And it might take a few practices, so just don't be discouraged if you don't get it right away. Just adjust your paints. Let me know if you have any questions. So I'm happy with that. So that's where I'm going to leave it for my Dutch pour. Okay. Now for my base paints, like I said, I don't really um, measure. So for my base paint that I put down first for the Dutch pour, it's usually around one part paint, two parts flow trawl, and then water to get the consistency that I like. Now that being said, the USA flow trawl is, you know, as most or some of you may know that I'm in Ireland, um, the USA flow trawl I prefer. I know Canela has some of the EU flow trawl being sent over to her. She's gonna do a few tests and come um, get a recipe down for it and whatnot. So I'm looking forward to that because that'll I'm um, looking forward to that video, so I will link her channel below so you guys can head over and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when she uploads video, and then you'll see it. I think she's going to do, like, Australian flow trawl, and then 
um, the American and the um, Oltral. So looking forward to see her work with the Oltral because I can't get it to work. Uh, I mean, I have used it, but I just, I prefer the USA Floetrol. Like I just had two, two jugs of it shipped over from the States. So two one gallon jugs. And I think all in it was like 161 or 164 US dollars, which is like for the Floetrol, like it's like, come on. But you know, <laughs> I love that product. So, um, but, why I was saying that is that for my base paint right now, I'm doing like a one part paint, two parts flow trial and water to thin. If I had that flow trial, like easy access to it, and it wasn't so expensive for me to get over here, I would probably go three to four or one, you know, one part paint and then like four parts flow trial, maybe just depending on how, uh, what the effects, you know, if just to extend the paint longer. And then also I'd have to test it out and see make sure that I like the results. But yeah, I would definitely add more Floetrol just to extend my paints further. Um, so you can try that, but yeah. So right now my base is like one part to two parts, one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and then water to the consistency that I like. And it's pretty much the same for um, most of my paints that go uh, across for the Dutch pour, you know, that you layer across and then you blow out. It just depends on the, the body of the paint. So like if I'm going to mix a golden paint, um, the heavy body ones, I would be adding more Floetrol to those just to get it to like that fluid consistency that I showed you when I mixed this up. And then I would start adding water. So I just wanted to show you guys how I have been incorporating the Boom gel into my Dutch pores because it's a good product. I like it, really like it for you know, the bloom technique and I saw how it sells up like crazy. And I was like, oh, that would be fun in a Dutch pour, but it didn't work when I added just flow trawl to thin it down a bit and water just didn't work. It didn't hold up. Still got a really cute painting out of it. However, it's just when that gold was there, it was just, it was like, this section was just all cells, multicolored cells. And I was a bit disappointed when I woke up and they were gone. So that is why I have added a small bit of tube paint just to see if that worked and would help hold it. And it did. So happy days. Um, the video, the Dutch pour I'm doing just after this mixing, I use this gold and then I also use the Lily Pilly Pink and I mixed it the same as I did with this. However, I added, I believe it was the Cobalt Violet Hue by Golden. Um, let me see if I can grab it, just so you can see which one. Oh, yeah, it was the Cobalt Violet Hue. So just a little bit of this into this and mainly kept this color, which is great. That's what I wanted. But it just seemed to work. It just, everything held up. So that's what I'm going to do because I have loads of these booms and I like the color. I like the product. So I'm just going to carry on with it. I might not do all my Dutch pours with them because I don't know, I might get sick of looking at all those cells, but it's, it is kind of cool. So I love like these, the middle ones that they, like when I did this, these cells, after I blew it out, these cells were not here. And then it was like, that's another, you have to wait like 20 minutes before it's done developing. But like, this was all just, I think Prussian blue and then I left, came back, and there was just all these little cells. Little island cells, I think they call them. So, if you guys are interested in trying that, give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Um, and that's that. So, I will leave you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. And carry on and watch the Dutch pour that we're going to be doing. Bye!